Welcome back everyone to our channel and another daily devotion, the word for you today. We have part three of you are Christ's ambassador. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button. As always, we thank you for your support. So our scripture for part three is Philippians 3 and 20. We're going to get right into it. Philippians 3 and 20 says our citizenship is in heaven. Let's recap. As an ambassador, you must have the following qualifications and characteristics. One, be a citizen of the country you represent. Our citizenship is in heaven. Two, your character and conduct must reflect the highest values of your country, that our God may make you worthy of his calling. That is 2 Thessalonians 1 and 11. You, three, you must be equipped for the job. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit, 1 Corinthians 12 and 4. Number four, you must be loyal to your country. Now let's look at two more qualifications. Five, an ambassador must be an effective communicator. I think everybody should be an effective communicator, but okay. The best ambassadors are bilingual. They speak and understand the language of those around them. Can you do that? In order to have the right answer, you must understand the question, the questioner, and where they're coming from. That's listening. The Bible says if someone asks about your Christian hope, always be ready to explain it. But do this in a gentle and respectful way. 1 Peter 3, 15 and 16. Note the words, always be ready. Six, an ambassador must be a good diplomat. Ambassadors are most effective when they're winsome as they go out about their work. You wouldn't want someone representing your country who was arrogant and abrasive in dealing with others. So true, big turn off. Jesus said, by this all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Hear that, love for one another. That was John 13, 35. Our message is the gospel and our strategy is love. What's our message? We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Second Corinthians 5 and 20. So there you go. Part three of you are Christ's ambassador. That is it for the word for you today. God bless you and we'll see you tomorrow.